The Divine Encounter Episode 9 A Spiritual Awakening The months flew by, and Rachel's pregnancy was nearing its final stages. Jason, ever the devoted husband, took exceptional care of her. He made sure she attended all her prenatal appointments, cooked her favorite meals, and spent quality time with her, despite the whirlwind of activities at Genesis Innovations. Their home was filled with anticipation and joy, a stark contrast to the tense atmosphere of the corporate battleground. Each morning, Jason would kiss Rachel's growing belly and talk to their daughter, Hope, promising her a world of love and happiness. He had even transformed a spare room into a beautiful nursery, complete with soft pastel colors and a crib that he had painstakingly assembled himself. The nursery became a symbol of their family's hope and future, a sanctuary amidst the chaos. Despite his efforts at home, Jason was acutely aware of the immense pressure at work. Genesis Innovations was on a razor's edge, with Titan Tech's shadow looming large. Evan's relentless attacks had kept Jason on high alert, forcing him to strategize and counter every move. His mind was a constant flurry of thoughts and plans, and the weight of responsibility grew heavier with each passing day. One evening, after a particularly grueling day at the office, Jason returned home to find Rachel waiting for him on the balcony. She was wearing a serene smile, her hand gently resting on her belly. The city lights shimmered in the background, casting a warm glow over them. Hey, how was your day? Rachel asked, her eyes full of understanding. Jason sighed, running a hand through his hair. Exhausting. Evan is not letting up. It feels like I'm constantly on the defensive. Rachel took his hand, guiding him to sit beside her. Jason, I've been thinking, with everything going on, have you had time to pray? The question caught him off guard. He realized with a pang of guilt that he had been neglecting his spiritual life. The demands of his work had consumed him, and he had relied on his own strength and intelligence to navigate the challenges. He had forgotten to seek guidance and wisdom from God, the source of his strength. You're right, Jason admitted, his voice heavy with regret. I've been so focused on fighting these battles that I've neglected my relationship with God. I've been trying to do everything on my own. Rachel squeezed his hand. It's not too late. Let's pray together now and make a commitment to put God first in everything we do. We need his wisdom and understanding, especially now. They bowed their heads, and Jason led them in a heartfelt prayer. He poured out his frustrations and fears, seeking divine guidance and strength. As they prayed, a sense of peace washed over him, easing the burden on his shoulders. It was a moment of spiritual awakening, a reminder that he was not alone in this fight. The next morning, Jason woke up with a renewed sense of purpose. He resolved to start each day with prayer, seeking wisdom from God before tackling the challenges ahead. He understood that relying on divine guidance would provide clarity and direction beyond human comprehension. At Genesis Innovations, the atmosphere began to shift. Jason's newfound commitment to prayer and seeking God's wisdom infused the team with a sense of calm and determination. They noticed a change in their leader. His decisions were more insightful and his demeanor exuded confidence and peace. One particular afternoon, during a high-stakes meeting with Future Tech, Jason felt an overwhelming sense of clarity. As the discussion progressed, he presented an innovative strategy that left everyone in awe. The executives from Future Tech were impressed, and the partnership solidified further, promising greater collaborative success. The stock price of Genesis Innovations climbed steadily, reaching $240 per share, and the company's worth soared to $6 billion. The market responded positively to their innovations and strategic alliances, cementing their position as a tech giant. However, Evan was not one to be outdone. He devised a new plan to destabilize Genesis Innovations, targeting their key investors. Rumors and misinformation spread rapidly, causing uncertainty and panic among stakeholders. The media frenzy intensified, and the stock price wavered. Jason knew this was a critical moment. He gathered his core team and prayed for wisdom and guidance. We need to stay united and transparent, he told them. Our integrity and commitment to excellence will see us through this storm. With renewed resolve, they launched a counter campaign, reaching out to investors with clear and honest communication. Jason and Rachel appeared on multiple media platforms, 
addressing concerns and reaffirming their commitment to ethical practices and innovation. In the midst of this turmoil, Rachel went into labor. Jason rushed her to the hospital, his heart racing with a mix of excitement and anxiety. Hours later, they welcomed their daughter, Hope, into the world. Holding her in his arms, Jason felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and determination. This tiny life was a symbol of all they had fought for and all they had yet to achieve. Back at Genesis Innovations, the team continued to work tirelessly, inspired by their leaders' dedication and faith. They unveiled a major update to the Nebula project, showcasing its transformative potential. The tech community was abuzz with excitement, and investors' confidence was restored. Evan's attempts to destabilize Genesis Innovations had failed. The stock price rebounded to $250 per share, and the company's worth surpassed $6.5 billion. Genesis Innovations had not only survived the storm, but emerged stronger and more resilient. As Jason and Rachel settled into their new roles as parents, they found strength and solace in their faith and in each other. They knew the road ahead would be filled with challenges, but with God's wisdom and their unwavering commitment to their vision, they were ready to face whatever came their way. The next chapter of their journey was just beginning, and with hope in their arms, they looked to the future with renewed hope and determination.